All right. Uh, welcome back to uh, area models. Uh, we have done multiplying and we have done factoring. And we're going to talk about division because these are all just different viewpoints and exactly the same thing. Um, and so we will uh, kind of tie this to what we did in the multiplication side of things as we demonstrate. So we were wanting to divide the x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 7x squared minus 2x plus 12 by x plus 3, which means viewed as a multiplication problem, one of the sides of the, of the area model should be an x plus 3. So we'll put that in here. Um, we don't know exactly how long necessarily the rest of this is going to be, so we're going to leave ourselves some space. But um, if we want the answer to the division problem, then that's going to be the other side of this rectangle. So we're looking for what goes on the top of the rectangle. And the x, the fourth degree polynomial up there is, would be the result of the multiplication problem. So it's going to load into the small boxes along the way. And what we found in our pattern, if we put everything in descending order of powers, is that the largest uh, term there that gives it a degree 4 is going to show up in the upper left-hand corner by itself. Okay. Um, and now already we see some information, other information that we can fill in. If this box is x tall and it has an area of x to the fourth, then that must mean that there was an x cubed up there to make that happen. But if that's x cubed wide, then this is x cubed wide and 3 tall. So this box must have a 3x cubed in it. Okay. First glance, it looks like, OK, that's good, but not too terribly helpful until we remember that all the x cubes in the problem are going to line up on this diagonal to form a 6x cube. And so. If those two diagonal elements have to add together to give a 6x cubed, then this one down here is already a 3x cubed, then this must also be a 3x cubed. But if that's a 3x cubed, and this is x tall, then this must be a 3x squared. And if that's a 3x squared, and this is 3 tall, then this must be a 9x squared. And I have no consistency to my colors, I'm sorry. Okay. But that 9x squared is going to combine with whatever's in this box up here on this diagonal to give us a 7x squared. So this must be a negative 2x squared in this box. But if that is a negative 2x squared, and we know that it is x tall, then this must be a minus 2x that goes right there, but if that's a minus 2x and this is 3 tall, then this has to be a minus 6x there. And now we're kind of getting into the flow of things here a little bit. The diagonals here are going to have to add up to negative 2x, and so this must have been a positive 4x right there, which means this must have been a positive 4 and that would force this to be a positive 12. But these things on this diagonal are supposed to add up to 12, and they exactly do. And that's the end of it. And so it tells us that the answer to this problem is a polynomial that I now have sitting right there. That is my x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. All right, and the check is already right here. I can check it because I normally check division by doing the multiplication, and I have the multiplication set up here. I can see that visually um, that that is what's going on there. Okay, let's do uh, one more example here. Okay, a uh, similar looking problem, except for. Oops. I have a quadratic that I'm dividing by. And I did this one especially because my one side of the rectangle then has to be an x squared plus 2 
But if I don't leave a place, since I have that missing power of x, I have a second power and a zero power, I don't have the first power, if I don't leave a space for it, then my diagonals don't line up. Okay. And so I want to make sure that I leave that space on this side, so I'm going to call it x squared plus 0x plus 2. And I'll set this up in the same way. And I know that existing in this top box by itself, that's going to be where the x to the fourth is. And I'm already off and ready to roll then, because that means this has to be an x squared. I'm going to write this as a 0x cubed. Everything in that row is going to get multiplied by 0x, so we're going to have coefficients of 0 there. And this is going to then be a 2x squared. And then I want my next line here. And if I could figure out what went in this top box here, which I can because these two diagonal elements I know have to add up to 6x cubed. And I've got 0x cubed so far, so all six of the x cubes must be right there. But that then means that uh, this color, this must have been a plus 6x to make that area. This is going to be a 0x squared, and this is going to be a 12x. And my next diagonal, then, that I'm analyzing is this one right here. And those have to add up to 7x squared. 2 plus 0 is 2, so there must have been 5x squareds up here. And if I'm going to get those 5x squareds there, then that must mean there was a plus 5 there. This is going to be a plus 0x there. This is going to be a plus 10. Um, and my next one then, I've done in a little while, a red vertical line here. These boxes with the x's in them are supposed to add up to a negative 2x. I've got 12x so far, so this must be a minus 14x. This now looks a little bit weird. Okay, because I've got down to a constant term up here, um, and if I'm going to multiply x squared times, I have some kind of thing with an x in the denominator up here, that's telling me I am now building my denominator. Okay, so this is clearly going to be a denominator here. This is going to be a 0 here. Um, I haven't dealt with this 10 yet because that diagonal coming on there is supposed to be a 12, so I would have to have a 2 in there. And then we've run all our polynomials on the inside here from down to a constant term. So we're at a constant term there, constant term there, constant term there. I'm done. This is my remainder. So I'm just going to add on that remainder. When I was dividing by x squared plus 2, then this is my answer to that division problem. Okay, Really works out nice. I would argue that it even takes up less space than a traditional uh, long division algorithm.